Welcome to today's video and welcome back to the LH Stinger project. Today we're going to be working on the x-axis and also adding the belts for the z-axis. Let's get going. We're going to start on our right x-axis mount. For this we'll need the following components. Our plastic printed part, our 20 tooth idler, our 5mm shaft, three 7x5 by, by 0.5mm shims, one 10x5x1 by by one shim, one M3 hex nut, our M5x10 low profile screw, one M5x12, two M3x12s, one M3x12 and two M3x22 and two M3 2020T nuts. Showing this assembly can be quite tricky, so this is what we're going for here. We need our pulley on our 5mm shaft with a shim on each end. We'll start by preloading the pin into the bottom of the plastic part. Next we'll want to install our pulley stack. So we need to install the pulley with a shim on each end. I find it easier to do this using a small allen key. Get everything lined up onto the key and then by wiggling it around you should be able to push the lower pin up through the centre Push in the Allen key at the other side. Next we'll want to bring in our printer. We'll need to install our X right mount onto our linear rail. You can do this using the two M3 by 12 screws. These go in the upper part and then there's two M3 by 22 millimeter screws to go in the lower part. Tighten all four of these screws and that will conclude the right X mount assembly. Moving on to our left X mount for this part we're going to need our stepper motor, our pulley, 625 bearing, one M3 short heat press insert, two 2020 M5 T nuts, one M3 hex nut, two 7x5 by 0.5mm shims, one 10x5 by 1mm shim, two M3 by 14mm socket head screws, one M3 by 12 socket head screw, three button head M3 by 10mm, two M3 by 35mm socket head screws, one M3 by 12mm button head screw, one M5 by 10mm low profile head, and one M5 by 12 screw and our two plastic printed parts. We'll start by installing the two 10mm button head screws in the top holes and the two M3 by 14mm socket head screws in the lower holes. Also note that these use two different hex key sizes. Next we can install our bearing into the bearing holder this just pushes in nice and snug. And add the heat press insert to the top. And place that to the side for now. Now let's bring the printer back in. We'll install the mount on the linear carriage. Ensuring those bolts are nice and tight. Next we can drop in our M3 hex nut to the back of the mount to hold the belt. And our M3 by 12 button head screw. Don't tighten this yet. Next we'll need our 6mm belt. We'll start by threading this to the top of the z-axis. This can be quite fiddly. I found it easier to just remove the tensioning screw from the top and remove the tensioning mechanism. Simply sit the belt into the x-axis mate, ensuring that the teeth engage with the teeth in the plastic part. Finally, roughly measure the length of the belt you'll need. I added on around an inch of extra belt here. However, in this kit there was plenty of spare. And cut the belt to length. Feeding the belt through, it was handy to apply some pressure to the teeth 
and then spin the z-axis motor. This fed the belt through nicely. Ensure that your top tensioner isn't tight and cut to length and install the belt to the x-axis plastic part. Once the belt fits, cut another one to the exact same length for the other side and repeat this process to install the other belt. Once the belts are installed, we can tighten up our M12 lock nut. Being careful not to over tighten this as it will crack the plastic. Next we'll install our x-axis belt. First we'll thread this through the right hand side main, going around the pulley. This can be fiddly, but there is a small hole at the bottom to help with feeding the belt through. I found using a small allen key was very useful here. And on the opposite side, we simply need to feed the belt through the hole at the top. And back out the lower hole. Next we can prepare our stepper motor. Install the pulley and tighten up the grub screws just enough that it can move up and down, but not spin completely off the flat side of the shaft. This will allow us to align it properly with the belt. We run our power connector to point towards the side of the machine. Ensure that the belt goes around the pulley. First we can take our two M3 by 35mm screws and these will fit into the bottom two holes of the stepper motor. I don't recommend tightening these fully just yet. Next we'll install our M3 by 22mm socket head screw and tighten the rest of these screws and an M3x10 button head screw. Next we can install our double shear bearing. We'll do this with a brass insert pointing down. And then install this with an M3x12 socket head screw. At this point, move the belt backwards and forwards slightly. This will self-align the pulley on a stepper motor. Use your allen key to tighten up the grub screws on the pulley. Moving it slightly to tighten up the second grub screw. Ensure that your 2020 X carriage will fit plenty of gap either side for expansion. And ensure that your belt can move freely with the X beam in place. Moving on to our X-axis linear rail, we'll need 12 M3 by 12 mm socket head screws. our X beam, our X linear rail, and 12 M3 20x20 T-nut. Preload the T-nuts using the M12 screws to every hole of the linear rail, and then slide this into our X beam. Using the printed alignment tool marked X, ensure that the linear rail is central on the beam and then using our alignment tools tighten down the screws holding the rail to the beam starting in the middle and working outwards Finally, ensuring that we install two M5 T dots in the front and back of the rail we can place the rail on our x-axis Unfortunately, I don't have the footage of this, however, I'll show the CAD model on the screen. We'll want our low profile M5 screws at the front and our M12x6 at the rear, ensuring we use the correct spaces.
and that concludes our X-axis build. As a disclaimer, this kit was provided free of charge by Pfizer for research and review purposes. However, they have no input in the outcome of this or any videos on the channel and will not see this video before you. Thank you for watching and if you don't want to miss the next leg of our Stinger journey, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications and I welcome your comments and feedback on the videos and projects. If you want to get your own LH Stinger kit, you can find them at the links in the video description as well as several useful resources such as the LH Stinger GitHub and Git Discord server. I want to thank Lima Hayes, the creator of the LH Stinger, for his cooperation and guidance and our official filament sponsor, Filamentive, who have provided us with a huge batch of filament for this and many of our next projects.